Hi, I just downloaded your file and I opened it in X8. I haven't done anything with it other than just open it. You'll, we'll discover things together, if anything. I can create an overview and see what's what. While that's happening, I think I'll go back to your and reread this. I have a log home. File settings too big to share. The size where I'm assuming at the attic has hold. Okay, well, let's look, look for that. Well, it's taking a long time to initialize. Oh, hey, well, it's taking a long time. <laughs> okay, man, yeah, no big deal. Oops. One problem with the roof, or roofs, dormers, I guess you'd call them. As just some disconnected roof planes. Uh, it looks like they're fairly close. Let's see if they're the same uh, baseline height. 117 and 3 sixteenths. Let's see what this one is. They look like they're different. They are. They should, if being adjacent like that, they should be the same. So let's just fix that by opening uh, this one. And I'm going to copy uh, the baseline figure by changing the radio button position. And I'm going to apply that to this roof plane. Oh, why on earth is that? Oh. We'll change the, uh, make the baseline the same. See what that, what that does. Working, working, working. It looks like the baseline's in the wrong place. That's a problem as well. It's waiting for my computer to finish doing what I told it to do. Oh! <laughs> okay. Yeah. Can't leave it like that, but that's a starting point. See, the point is, on these roof planes, let me make sure that in plan view that the baselines are turned on. Uh, roofs, baselines, yeah, they're off. I knew I could tell that they were off. Now, roof baseline, whoa, see it's way out here. It should be over here. <laughs> okay. I'm going to click on the roof plane and then uh, click on the point to point move tool, left click and click on the baseline and then click on where it's supposed to be on the edge of the structural framing. So this is where the roof plane transfers its dead load to the structural walls and so that that's where that needs to be. Let's see where this wall, this roof plane is that I changed earlier. Okay, see there's the baseline. I just moved it out so you could actually see the baseline. Again, I'm going to click on that and use point to point move to move the baseline. Left click, left click. Now, earlier in this video, I fixed and made sure that both roof planes have the same baseline height. Now I'm going to join them using the join roofs tool here. Okay, I knew that they would join because now they match in baseline height and baseline location. I'm going to open the build roof, build roof dialog to see what you intend for roof eaves. You got them set at 12, got them set at 12 inches. So let's just manually set those at 12. And 12. We'll just snap this one together at the corner. Okay, so that, now those two are straightened out. Now that doesn't mean that, yeah, see there's other roof planes here that are mislocated. This, this one's in the wrong place. The baseline's way out here in left field. So let's fix that. Left field was just a way of speaking, not literally left field, but just not where it's supposed to be. We'll put it back where it's supposed to be, right on the edge of the framing, and set the, uh, well, 
now. I'm not getting a good automatic dimension that. So the next thing I need to make sure that the, this roof plane down here matches these others in terms of baseline at 117 and 316. And I don't care about the pitch because I have no way of knowing what you intended. And see it's off a little bit. So we'll walk the pitch and put it at 117 and 316. And then we can, with some certainty, join the ridge because all the roof, all the joining roof planes are now at the, at the correctly located. Now this edge should join to this edge, but we it can't because here's just one line and here's two lines. One, two. So I'm going to move this break point over here. To that point. So we so you can't ask the join roofs tool to join more than two lines. So now I'm just going to ask it to join this line here to this line here. That should work. I don't know why it's oh it's taking such a long time because I have a 3D camera open. <clears throat> that slows everything down. But this is how you straighten out roofs. You, you look for mislocated... Okay, there's something wrong here because that should have joined. What is going on there? Now it looks like it maybe it did join, but there's something weird going on with this one. Okay. There's probably... I misidentified which one this one probably should join to that one or this one let's try that again this edge and uh this edge it's a little confusing because there, there's this other line there I can, let me take a look at it in this camera let it update The thing about this software is, unless its procedures are, are followed precisely, you get junk and you get wasted time and effort. We got a door sticking through the roof here. We got furniture, but there's not enough headroom for that furniture to be there, so that's not going to work. Sorry. I mean, it's not going to work without some changes. Like this edge here, it, I, I don't think these are the same height. Let's check uh, facial top heights 103 and a, and a quarter. What's the facial top heights here? See, they're not the same facial top, so they facial top height, so they can't join. But, so yeah, it's a big gap here. Let's turn on the. Uh, go down and then back up. Now I'm going to turn on the reference display. So this edge here needs to roll in against this wall over here, right there. That's what's called, causing, causing that garbage to come up. And this edge needs to be parallel to this edge, and it's not. We'll use a parallel tool and straighten that up. Huh, I didn't fix it. What's wrong? That, that usually means that there's an additional break. Oh, there it is. There's a break up here. We'll get rid of that break by dr just dragging it out. See, whenever you get an error message, usually the computer is telling you, or the software is telling you, that it couldn't carry out the command you gave it. We'll try that again. With the break out, and that should then... Okay, there's still a break there somewhere. Let's... I'm going to drag this out and see if I can... Yeah, there it is. Up here. Need to get rid of that so we can straighten this up. 
Let me make sure that object snaps and angle snaps are on. Okay, they are. I'm going to turn off grid snaps. I, I never use those. We'll try it again and see if I got that successfully got that break point out of there. That should parallel up to this wall. No, it must still be there. Yeah, there it is. I'm going to have to zoom in to get rid of that stupid break point. Should be able to just drag that and have it snap out of existence right there. I'm going to zoom in some more to make, make sure that I get rid of that because I can't really move forward until that's done. Looks like I got rid of it this time. Now I can take this wall, this roof edge, and parallel it to this wall that I've been trying to do for the last couple of minutes. There we go. And we'll set it. Let me undo that, drag it over a little closer. That should have a 12 inch overhang like the rest of the roof. Now we can move on to something else. I'm going to do another overview to see where the next place I need to... See, there's a baseline right there. That's wrong. This baseline here is wrong. So you get the idea? I mean, you couldn't be more wrong. I'm sorry. I don't mean to rub it in, but... Uh, this works when it's used as it's designed to work and not otherwise. So I don't need to, this overview, I know what to do next. We need to find all of these instances where the roof baseline has been mislocated. Stretch this out a little bit. See, this, this belongs probably over here, I'm guessing, but I'm going to move it there and, and just see what happens. We'll go again, point to point move. We'll move that from where it is to where it's supposed to be. This is again so it can transfer the dead load of the roof to the structural walls. And then we'll set the overhang to 12. Okay, I'm going to reduce that baseline in plant view. It just look tidier that way. And uh, this one in the back is in the wrong place. So that's the first place to start. See there's that baseline way over here. Well it could be, let me look at the first floor. I suppose it could bear on this wall but it's, it's, it's not in the right place for that either. <coughs> Let's move this one from where it is to where it's supposed to be. Okay, I'm going to save and then move on. Now this one is mislocated, I think. A little bit hard to tell, but I'm going to move this one from here to here. And then, okay, that, I think it's overhang is set at one foot. That's probably correct. <coughs> okay, now let's see what that caused. I'm sure it's not perfect now, but it's in a more workable. The next thing we need to check is uh, this plane here. We'll see what baseline height it's using. 220. Let's see. If, and the, the opposing wood should be the same. And it's not. And I don't care about the pitch, but I do care about this. There should be 220. And that'll just mechanically raise the roof plane to 220 inches. Let's see, this is, before I, I start making a bunch of mistakes here, let me uh, check what I just did. I think I just moved the uh, dormer roof, and I probably don't need to do that. I need to get a faster computer.
Yeah, I think I goofed. This one here is at two. I set it to 220, thinking it would match the other one, and that's wrong. So I, I don't remember what the, it was set to. I'm just going to hit Control Z to undo that last change. And when I see the roof move, I'll know that that was complied with. My bad. I I, I thought that the uh, I, well, you know, I thought this roof was, I made a mistake. I'm trying to undo that mistake. Anyway, I think uh, we'll let this run, and then uh, this is the one that needs to be a 220, the one in the front. Now, that one should be at a plate height of, uh, or excuse me, a baseline height of 220, and it's at... I don't know, you might, maybe you intended it to be over the first floor. It appears to be. So I'm going to leave that alone. See, what I'm concerned with is this, this ridge, this is set at 220. Right? And this one's set on the first floor, so I guess that's about right. Let's uh, join those. And then see what we have. The problem with a video like this is that I, I'm guessing, I don't know what you intended. I only have the model and what it says and, and what my experience tells me, okay? But I think this was an, intended to end on the second floor and this one starts on the first floor. So I think that we have a, a correct fix now for those. Now that looks roughly correct. This roof plane here is... Uh, this upper edge is just too far in, so it's chopping into the so that wall. That's what it does by default. Once I move it far enough out, then the, the wall should reconstitute. This upper edge was just in too far and it was chopping the wall. Now, the reason this is sticking up over here is because of an overhang issue. See, there's not enough overhang over here to chop off the wall. So we'll just pull the roof over until it snaps to this edge. And that should handle that. I can't I, I can't tell you about what's wrong with this because there's just not enough headroom for the roof that you've used for that furniture to be there. That's not my problem, that's your problem. It looks like the last major thing is uh, the front uh, dormer roof. which is obviously too steep for it to work. Ideally, you would want this to connect with the roof uh, along in here somewhere. So let's see, the, the ridge is at 285. Let's set this ridge at 250. I'll we'll open this dialog box. And I don't care about the pitch here. We'll just set it to 250 and see where it goes. That'll change the pitch to, well, that's a little bit too, not steep enough, so I'm going to change that to 3, 312, and we'll take a look. 312 is about as flat as you can use with uh, shingles. Anything flatter than that, you'd have to use impervious uh, roof covering. Come on, baby, hurry up. Obviously, this window right here is not going to work. Okay, now we'll, we'll take this roof here and use the Join Roofs tool and click on this roof and see if we can get a, a join a joining. Uh, should join around about here, I would guess. Hang 
that all day. Here we go. That's about what I predicted. And then this wall poly line here. Or wall -E pop. We're going to have to draw some more stuff in there to fix that up. This window, forget about it. It's, it's, I'm not going to delete it. You, you could put a smaller, a smaller window in there, of course, but you can't put that size window there. It won't fit. And it looks like a door frame sticking through the roof. That's got to be moved over. I'll leave that for you to do. Now this dormer here is kind of screwy looking because it, it looks like it's not properly drawn. I'm going to close the overview. We'll take a look at that. Okay, there's the shed row. And there's the side wall. I'm looking for a hole in the roof poly line. Maybe that's it. No, what is that that I just was selected? I'm opening to see what it is. Looks like a piece of furniture or a cabinet or something, but I'm not sure. <coughs> wow, this is a slow model. <laughs> Uh, it's a cabinet. Okay. See what layers that's on. Holy moly. I'm glad this is not a plan I'm working on. <laughs> it would drive me crazy. It's so slow. It's probably got a lot, a lot of errors in it. I don't mean to say that by, by being mean. It's just a fact. Fixtures interior. Let's turn that crap off. I don't need to work on fixtures interior. That's something I'll leave for you. Fixtures interior. Let's turn that off for the time being. I want to see what this thing here is. Okay. What is that? That's your hole in the roof skylight, skylight specification. This has to be very precisely placed for your dormer to look correct. So I'm going to pull this over underneath this wall. I'll explain why in a moment and do the same thing over here on this side. And then pull this edge down under, just beyond this edge. And then take this edge up to where it corresponds with the uh, roof plane. Boink, like that. These side walls need to be programmed to, to rest on the roof. I'll do them one at a time so you'll get it. This is so incredibly slow. Well, again, I'm glad it's your plan and not mine. Because <laughs> it is clunky to work on. Okay, we'll go to the roof tab, and, and uh, we don't need that anymore, but we do need this. Roof cuts wall at bottom, because I've got it sitting on the hole in the roof poly line. I'm going to do the same thing with this. I mean, when you were automatically building the roof, that uh, gable wall command was necessary, but it's now that the roof is built, it's no longer necessary. Because we're not going to auto auto rebuild roofs anymore. If you're smart, if you auto rebuild roofs now, everything that I've straightened out in this roof will be destroyed and redone re, and redone wrongly. So we don't need that anymore. We do need this roof cuts wall at bottom. Now I'm going to save and then we'll do an overview and see if that makes this uh, dormer look any better than it did. This kind of architecture is probably the most difficult to do in uh, Cheap Architect Premier, by the way. It's very exacting. If you get it wrong, you get junk and chaos. And if you do it right, then you get something that's that, a useful product. And that there, there's no other way about it. Where's my overview camera? Try that again. I 
I see. Oh, no, we're good. <clears throat> yeah, it looks better than it did, but it's... The problem is it's cutting a hole. That roof, roof probably, the coal's being cut in the shed roof, and we don't want it there. So I think what I'm going to do is, uh, okay, I'm going to take this roof here. Oh, crap. Take this roof here and send it up in plan view. And I'm going to take this roof plane and send it down in plan view. I want to, the software's a little confused. It's got this hole in the, in the roof polyline. Now I can't find the freaking polyline. Maybe it's down here. No. Ah, there it is. Okay. I don't want it associated with this shed roof. So I'm going to copy it and then go down to where the main roof is and edit paste whole position. Yeah, that's where it should be associated with this main roof. And we'll go back up to where the shed roof is and delete this one. Because it's cutting a hole in the shed roof. I don't want it to cut a hole in the shed roof. That's stupid. Okay, now we'll go back down to the main roof. And see this, this polyline here is, is too, uh, it's larger than the roof, so that's not going to work. I need to pull it down. These holes in the roof polylines have to exist within the area of a roof plane. I'm just going to pull it past its edge. Okay. Let me undo that. That didn't, that whatever the idea didn't work, didn't work right. So I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to move this out of the way. I pulled the polyline edge over it, over itself, and that was a mistake. <clears throat> we'll pull it just inside the, the roof edge. I'm not really concerned about, okay. Let's, let's see what, what that did, if it did anything. Now this should be programmed. This copy may not be a, a proper copy. Let me open this dialog box and see if it's... Yeah, okay, that's, that's it's not a skylight. But we do want a hole in the roof there. Well, let's see if that made any difference in the uh, 3D model. There's still some work I have to do on that hole in the polyline, but I, I, first thing at ball, I needed cutting a hole in the roof that I intended to cut a hole, cut a hole in the roof in. And before it was cutting a hole in the wrong roof plane. So I physically uh, disassociated it from the uh, dormer roof plane and hopefully as associated it with the main roof plane, which is what was in originally intended. Let's see what's happened. Okay, this this is correct in that, well, it doesn't have, it's still showing a hole in it. Okay, I'm going to delete that. Delete that roof plane. It's just, it's just not working right. And I just draw a new one. That should completely disassociate it from this roof plane by deleting it. Why is it taking so long for that to delete? I don't know. Okay, we still don't have a hole in the roof. Let's get that. Okay, the, the hole here apparently has disappeared. Let's turn on the reference display. And I think we straighten that out. This didn't need to go over here to the edge like that, I don't think. I could be wrong. Let's see if we still have a room dialog box. We do. Okay. And, alright. There's the uh, 
where we need to cut a hole. So I'm going to just draw one from scratch using a poly line. We'll straighten it up. This time I'm going to put it just inside the wall. I think that's the edge over there. And just short of the wall. Now I'm going to convert this to a hole in the no hole hole in the roof. Yeah. Now just with that much done, let's take a, another look at that. <clears throat> we'll just take this step by step by step. That's more like what I wanted. I wanted a hole in this roof plane, not in the uh, shed roof. And these cabinets are obviously not going to work. Uh, I'll just pull that. Oh gosh. Let me do it in plan view. You're trying to fit too much under the roof, I think. And these the edge walls of the uh, dormer aren't there yet. And of course we need those. Golly gee whiz, what a slow plan. Let's close this. <clears throat> okay, I think that's on uh, Fixer's Interior. I'm going to turn Fixer's Interior off. It's just kind of a distraction, an un unwanted distraction. Fixer's Interior, we'll turn it off in the camera view set. And I need to figure out why the wall, side walls aren't showing up. And probably what, oh, I see I had two, a bunch of views open. Let me close some of these. Well, I had several open. I didn't realize I did. <clears throat> Let's go up to the second floor and see what's wrong with these walls here. They look like exterior walls. Siding floor. Yeah, that's correct with this check box here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to draw a shed roof over this outer wall right here. Yeah, over the wall tops where I want it. And we'll tell this roof plane to be 312. I'm just guessing, but. 10 to 12 is going to be too steep, so we'll set it to 3. I don't care about the overhang right now. I just want it to overhang the walls. Okay. We'll get another overview and see what it looks like now. Okay, well, we got some side walls anyway. Okay, I guess we can use a steeper roof here. I'm going to set it to four. <coughs> and then connect, see if I can't get it connect, to connect up here. See if that will connect. Not yet. Try it again. Well, that's weird. I can't select the rip point I want it to connect to.
Hmm. Let me just drag it up there. See what if I can get it to snap in place. It looks like to me that this roof edge here, uh, the, the material is no big deal. You just you never said the default different, so that's the reason it's, it's software is putting in the old old default, which you never change. We'll just use the eyedropper and fix the uh, material appearance. <coughs> we still don't have a good uh, connection here, but I'm not going to worry about that. We'll pull this. Uh, well, yeah, I want to pull this wall, this hole in the roof down a little bit to accommodate the wall, the front wall. Yeah, that's better. Get a little more, more precise. The roof planes are designed to uh, chop off uh, roof plan. I mean, uh, <laughs> roof planes are designed to chop off walls, and, and if they're not in the right uh, relationship, then you you know you get odd behavior like this. So we'll put them this log material over here on this wall with the eyedropper. Try it again. Try it again. And try it again. That's strange. Why it's not... Uh, you open that wall up and see what's wrong with it. Oh, I just, it just dawned on me. I need to know what this wall type is. What's the name of it? Siding 4. Well, that's not even right. You, it looks like you did this improperly. This should, exterior material should be set to the log stuff. Let's see if I can find it here. I tell you what, I'm going to close that. Close this. Close this. And use this tricolor tool and find out what the name of that material is. Log siding one. Okay, very good. And we'll open this wall type here. Open the specification dialog. Go to wall types. Define. And we'll set this to log siding 1. As it should have been done in the first place. Log siding 1. And that ought to fix those side walls. Let's see if it did. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, that fixed it on both sides. So you got stuff sticking to the roof. It's not going to fit there. Sorry. <laughs> and this is the floor platform of the second floor sticking through the roof. And that's because you've got the improperly set up up here. I think. Ah. I'm going to take this and set it to no room define. Because it's not supposed to be a room, it's an attic space. We'll just let the uh, software take care of it. That'll probably get rid of the floor. Yeah, okay. You created a room where no room is needed, and it was trying. the software was just trying to put a floor there. Let me see if I can fix this in plan view. In order to do that, I need this on the same plan view location as the other roof plane. So I'm going to move this up. I moved it down just to separate the two to fix what was going on. Move up a floor. Okay. Now this edge. Should then connect to this roof plane. I ah, see how it moved down. I think that got it done. Might have to still adjust. Yeah, the, the roof hole is wrong, but now the roofs are connected. Now, now I think we just move this roof hole down to match the mating edge, and that actually completely fix that. 
Yeah. So you you're still left with a bunch of problems like this this edge here, this wall bleeding through. You can just click on the wall, hit the tab key, or click on this. It looks like an attic wall. Let's see if that's an attic wall. It's a, you know it's a little bit strange geometry there. I would just take this and make it invisible because it's it's not necessary for the model. It, and it just it's it's looking stupid sticking through the roof like that. I think what we'll have to do is uh, put a wall a wine break right about here. Maybe this may work. I'm I'm not sure. And then put a line break in the opposite roof plane. And see if they won't join those new lines that I created. And there's still a bunch of problems yet to solve with this. But the major ones I think we put, put pretty much put to bed. Let's see if that will join at a slightly different angle. I would expect it to be different, a different angle than the main angle. Yeah. Yeah, it's not very good. This is still sticking through the roof, but that's not my problem, that's yours. And, uh, gosh, I would normally just bring that down so that they match, but I don't know what that's going to do to the right. That looks a little bit better. And you see this sticking in here to the wall, so just click on this, uh, whoa, that's a, another wall hole in the roof polyline that's out of place. Let's see that looks like this one. Let's see if that's what that is. Yeah, it's not a skylight. That's wrongly programmed. We need the uh, reference display on so I can see the first floor. Well, it's a little hard to see where that is supposed to be. It looked, looks like to me it's supposed to be over here. Let's move it there and see what happens. <clears throat> I'm just checking this one edge that I can see in the overview right here. Well, I'm going to try to extend that wall polyline up to fill that in. Yeah, it's a little bit better. It's so like uh, Eric said when the other user who looked at your plan said there's a lot wrong with it. Boy, that was an understatement. <laughs> I don't mean to be mean-spirited. Not at all. It's just a fact. And we got probably wall polyline's not correct over here. Where, I mean, where the hole in the roof polyline is misplaced. Let's see if I can find that. I think that's that's this thing here. It looks like it's in the right place, but no, it can't be in the right place. I'm just gonna move it over and see, and then check it in the camera. There's so much junk here; it's it's hard to uh, think with everything that's here. See, I can't just click on the roof edge because. The roof edge is actually being formed by uh, that hole in the roof polyline, which now comes over here. Just now, oh, I, it's in the, in the wrong place. It needs to be down. Okay, I think I, it wasn't far enough down. And I need to move it over to the to right about there. Let's see if that looks better. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> And we can see if we can extend that polyline up and fill that in. Wall polyline is what I was referring to. You can see some of this furniture isn't going to work. So you've got it. This door is too tall. You're going to have to make it shorter or move it. And you have to work with what works, not with what you would like to work, but just what will work. Yeah, it's a bit of a problem there. Whoops. Right there. Not quite sure what's going on there. It looks like we don't have a good 
ridge connect there. So let's see if we can't fix that. No, it didn't. Well, this is a complicated roof, and I'm sorry it's complicated because that makes it harder to work on. But, the, I mean, it is what it is. I'm going to look at this in plan view and see if there's anything that can be done. It's really odd geometry, so... I think what's going on is this line here that was working. This line here and this line here are not connecting. Normally, you would put a break, a break point with a break line tool over here where the angle changes. That's probably what it, why it didn't connect before. And then now that the separate line can you, should be able to connect to this one. No. Okay, where's that one? What's creating this line here? I can't select it. <clears throat> I'm going to go to roof. Oh, wow. You don't have any annotation sets. Okay, never mind. What is causing that? I, mean, I can't, there's a line here. And apparently a roof line, I can't select it. It's there, but I can't select it. That's weird. Let me see if anything's blocked. Relative to roofs. Roof scudders. That that's okay. That's locked by default. I don't see anything else there about roofs. Why won't those join? Well, now that line that was there has disappeared. It seems to have been a ghost. A ghost is uh, something the video card put there in a moment and then didn't update properly. I'll oh, get an extra break here. That's probably a problem. I hadn't noticed that before. That would certainly cause it not to join. Ah, now it's joined. We'll save and we'll take an overview look. Yeah, if you if you can't join two roof planes, it's usually an additional break that you haven't noticed, and that's what happened in this case. For me, I, I couldn't get those to join because there's an additional line break there that I hadn't noticed. That's looking better. Whoa. That's goofy looking. Well, I guess it's okay. You're going to have to manually draw uh, an attic wall there to fill that in. I think I fixed the roof to the degree it can be fixed. But you're going to have to change your design uh, decisions because the, these uh, furniture objects aren't going to fit there. They stick th they're sticking through the roof, so they don't fit. That's not going to work. You're going to have to move it away from the edge wall some more. And this door is too tall. You're going to have to move it to the left or right or make it shorter. And of course, this stuff is not going to work the way you have it drawn. You got to move this further away from the edge from the edge of the roof, and this door is going to have to move away from the edge of the roof, or become shorter. And you'll have to make those decisions as a designer. I think I'm done here. Uh, thanks for your kind attention. I hope this has helped you some.